said, darling, you are all I want for sure Darling, you give me everything and more I said, darling, ooh, 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 yeah, girl You know I miss you What it took to make in you Like a blossom of a tree Or the color of a jewel So divine Is the feeling that I find Like a sweet mountain breeze And a fragment of my mind I said, darling You are all I want for sure Darling Give me everything and more I said, darling Ooh, yeah, girl You know I miss you Circles through my mind And it seems like every day Just gets better when you're mine When you love now and forever For my hurt you are the cure Like a spring you keep me healthy With a substance that is pure And I said darling, darling I'm feeling rich although I'm poor I said darling in your arms I feel secure Darling Darling Ooh, ooh, ooh Yeah, girl You know I miss ya Baby You know I miss ya Oh, yeah You know I miss ya Baby You know I miss ya I know I miss you And I said, darling Oh, darling You are all I want for sure All I want for sure Darling, darling In your arms I feel secure I feel secure Darling, darling I'm feeling rich although I'm poor I said, darling Darling you Give me everything and more I said, darling I miss ya Oh, baby Oh You know I miss you, darling You know I miss you, baby You know I miss you, baby
take me now, I'm helpless to resist Got me so invested in this thing It's more than just a flame It's more than just a flame Hey baby, my love. How was your breakfast? I totally enjoyed it. Baby. This was delicious. It was nice, ne? It was nice. Do you want mm. me to make it again? Yep. Um, rated out of ten. A ten out. Of 10. Really? No, this was nice. And you showed it flames. No, look. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed Thanks, it. It's a pleasure. This is nice. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know me my name is Gugu. i am also known as sne underscore kukuleti on all my social media platforms feel free to follow me because i really do drop some premium content and that's one period to all my returning subscribers my day ones my regular regulars, my vip gang 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 basically the people who make this channel uh welcome back to yet another video and if you see my face for the first time and you're thinking to yourself who is this gorgeous gorgeous hun my name is Google. i hope you stay i hope you fall in love and i definitely definitely hope you hit that subscribe button and become part of my family welcome to a new vlog guys today is a saturday i started this vlog by making brick bricky for me and my man because we got streets <laughs> uh, and then now um, I wanted to cook dinner but we having electricity issues and it's not load shedding but it's something that's happening in our complex so I'm thinking instead of just sitting and waiting for electricity to come back how about I step out and because um, we're going to be cleaning my room on this vlog because last time we did the living room I still need to do the kitchen with you guys but last time we did the living room so today on this vlog not today we're going to be cleaning my bedroom I want I want to put in new bedding uh, I want to put in um, curtains I'm not changing the old ones I have but I just want to put in lace curtains and yeah it's, uh, it's another clean with me video uh, what else are we doing today I want to show you guys what I'm wearing today. Well, I'm going to be wearing my scent today. It's this um, Red Temptations by Zara. I love wearing this when I'm at home or when I'm running errands it's simply because it is so affordable. It smells so good and it lasts for a long time. So you can see I've pushed a bit. I'm pushing it. There's still a lot left. But yeah, I've pushed a bit on it. I wear it when I am at home. Like if I bought and I'm at home or... Um, if I'm going to bed, guys, I'll put perfume on if I'm going to bed. I want to smell nice for my man. Just in case I get lucky. <laughs> you know, you must know, smell nice. You must smell nice. It's market together. As a woman, you must just get in the water. Every evening, guys, it's a daily job. Even though you're tired, just take a quick shower. Okay, okay, okay. Do your nighttime skin routine, get in your PJs, and don't leave out the fragments. Just go, it's not a lot because it's all no gums. You get in bed and then slip into bed. You don't know the outcome of the day. Maybe your mind's gonna like, maybe you smell good. Or like, ah. <laughs> But yeah, I think you get, I don't want to get too deep into it, but I think you know what I'm saying. I do that. Let me know if you guys also do that or am I weird for doing that? 
um, roll on perfume standard when I go to bed like I do that as if I'm going to somewhere but I'm actually going to bed so yeah guys I also got I'm a gift vouchers from my friends for my wedding gifts and I got a bag I got about two of these um, so I'm going to pass by Mr. Price and buy them because I actually want to unbox my wedding gifts with you guys but I'm gonna do that in the next vlog I don't want this vlog to be too long I'm gonna do that in the next vlog but I'm gonna shop for the stuff today if you like it the vlog might come out next week Thursday like this one might come out Monday and then the unboxing might happen on a Thursday guys this year I want to stay so consistent this year I am aiming for that 100k black like I am aiming for it and I definitely know that I can't get it without you guys like I can be consistent all I want I can be committed all I want like I can drop two vlogs a week like I can do anything that I want and like be consistent and keep pushing but if you guys don't subscribe I would move like I would stay at the same place you guys can come and watch and leave if you don't subscribe I would move and uh, this channel will not grow so before I even start before I even leave the house I want to ask you guys to please subscribe check if you're subscribed if you're not sure if you subscribe just quickly just quickly just scroll it takes like literally less than 30 seconds check out your phone check if you subscribed if you're not do subscribe this year we are we we're hitting 100k this year that's what i'm seeing for us that's my goal for us and i hope we are sharing the same goal yeah yeah i'd be very happy i really don't want this um intro to be too long so let's head out and go buy some homeware for my bedroom we're starting off at pep guys i'm wearing this wig that i bought i bought it last year and okay let me say bye i talk too much i talk too damn much bye guys <laughs>
with my phone. Oh. Really? <laughs> Thank you. Kumbulile. Thank you, baby. I lost this for my mic. I don't know if you guys can see this clip. So I was asking him if he hasn't seen one. Because I need to put it on so that you guys can have proper sound. See, they helped us. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh. Okay, so I woke up in the morning and um, I cleaned the other side. Then I left the side because I promised you guys that I would come and do the cleaning this side with you guys. So I'm a little bit tired. I wish I didn't clean that side. Uh, but it's a Sunday and I wanted to start, like, start off the week. Um, my windows are open and I feel like there's noise coming in everywhere. Chill. Is that better? Okay, focus on me now. I try to close my windows. As I was saying, it's a Sunday today and I love starting my week uh, in a clean house. Like my home has to be clean on a Monday. It can be messy like along the week, but on Saturday and Sunday, I really do try and clean. So that's why I had to start that side and then come back the side. But I'm gonna take you guys with me this side. I just quickly want to unbox the stuff that um, we bought yesterday when we went out, we went to Canal Walk. We even ended up at um, Waterfront. But yeah, it's because I wanted something from Zara. Okay, where should I start? Let me start with this one. Um, I'm gonna start with this one. Remember we went to Pep because I wanted a jug and Pep was closed. And then when I was at Woolies, I saw this jug that I grabbed so quickly. I love it. I don't love this thing on top. So I don't know if I should, I might use it like this without the thingy to close it on top. But I love it so much. And I wanted similar glasses like this. But I saw someone in my weight loss group who has the glasses. And she said she bought them at Pep. So I'm going to go and buy them there. I know that they have them at Poetry, but Poetry prices, <laughs> like if there's an option of me getting them cheaper somewhere else, then why not then to run to Poetry and buy the same glasses for like double the price. So I'm still gonna go to Pep. Maybe I'll take you guys with me on the next vlog. I'll go during the week. And the price for this jug is $2.99. I really enjoy serving my husband, um, giving my husband enough juice to refill um, in a jug rather than for me to pour uh, for him in a glass. So that way he can measure if he wants, if, if he doesn't want a lot of juice, he can measure himself. If he wants a refill, then he can measure then for me to pour and say, uh, if he wants more, then he has to stand up and go to the fridge while he's eating and stuff like that. I feel like it's very convenient, even for guests. When you have people over, obviously you just put the juice in here, whatever you mixed for them, you put it in here, you place it over there and then people can refill as they please. So I don't like being stingy with food. But yeah, I got this at Woolies. I hope it doesn't break like the one yeah, thing it broke. I really loved it. I really loved that jug. Uh, and then this morning, I'm showing you this because I'm going to use them in the room. This morning, hubby went to ask for flowers. My husband went to Woolies and got these. I love asking him to go buy flowers because for some reason, he's able to buy like nicer flowers i love this color i don't know if it's a nude i've never seen this at woolies but i love them so much oh and i always go for the pink ones but this is this is gorgeous um they were 150 it's like vintage roses they were 149 and i also asked him to grab these for me, I feel like um, these last for so long rather than roses. 
they last for you can have this for the whole month as long as you're watering them um this is the price but i'm going to show you guys how i'm going to use them because i wanted them for the bedroom we do have flowers in the living room and in the kitchen okay and then i went to mr price and i grabbed this candle that I'm gonna use in the bedroom. Oh, I feel like it's gorgeous. I love it so much. Uh, this is the price, 129. It's beautiful, it comes in different colors, brown, maroon, but I really went with the white. I bought these. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this. I'm keeping the receipt. Uh, but I want to try them out, especially for load shedding. If we're just sitting and watching TV, or I don't know, but I just want to try them out and see how they work. These are LED lights. They come with the remote, as you can see. And I love that they come in different sizes, so you can pair them like on top of a book or stuff like that. Really, really love them. This is the price. I did see similar ones at um, Superb List, but they were going for two. $5.99. I'm not sure I'm gonna put a picture on the side, but I bought these two. And I bought oh it's not what I thought. I thought it was the bedding. I thought it was the bedding. Let me do this for thumbnail. Got it. And I bought curtains. I bought four for my I'll show you guys my my windows are even dirty so i have to start by watching uh washing windows so i bought these curtains um at at home the price is this it's the price i don't know if you guys can see it because this lens this lens this lens is so crisp but what i don't like about it is that it struggles to focus i don't like that and then i bought this at mr price home it's a mattress protector i really wanted to buy my pillow protectors but i didn't have enough money guys like these things are expensive they are dura so they are funnel like like it's best to buy them like bit by bit because when i'm doing um laundry i also like to wash my mattress protector so toluguti uh why i'm drifting towards this level um so when i'm much when i'm washing my um bedding and then i also wash my uh, mattress protector only to find that i don't have a replacement because i have to put in new sheets while i'm washing the old ones the dirty ones and that's why i got a second one so that i don't struggle when i check out the old one i put in this one when i take out this one you know to swap for convenience basically so i got this at um mr price home and this is the price okay. i bought a watch for deco so i got two I kept the receipt because I don't know which one will look nice. So I bought this one and oh, here is it. And I bought this one. So I got two. Guys, can I please tell you my husband hates the sound of a ticking clock. <laughs> so we have, I had a ticking clock that side and when we sleep he'd literally wake up and take out the batteries and then come back and sleep so i'd find my clock my clock not moving anymore so i bought this so i'm just gonna put it there but i know he's gonna switch them off i'll just keep them for deco but he can't stand that tick, 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 tick. he can't he hates that i can't even hear it but i understand because i hate the sound of chewing like if i hear someone chewing i go like stop like i don't want to hear anyone chewing and he doesn't have a problem with that so i guess i understand i got this tray it is it was on sale and it's the mirror is chipped but i bought it anyway because oh mr price and really guys here it is it doesn't want to see my camera that doesn't matter so here's the tray 
so it's chipped here it's broken here and it's on sale I guess that's why they put it on sale because it's chipped here is the price can you guys see all oh, this lens band like a sun my favorite my favorite my favorite my favorite this was so expensive but it was so worth it um i got this bedding at mr price home i got the queen size it's green and the price is quite expensive but their bedding lasts longer than mr price beddings like that's how i feel i prefer buying those ones in a blue moon than buying a bedding in mr price i do have a bedding in mr price but i feel like oof in basham senior like it gets oh what's the english word Chill like it fades the color fades out quickly i don't even know how to say this but i, I hope you guys get what i'm saying and i got a throw i got three because i wasn't sure which one would work i got this one and missed the price this is the price Ooh. so the ones that don't fit i am going to take them back and I got this one green to match my green bedding and this is the price so whichever one works I'll go with that and I got this for my toilet a bus set I love it. I have something to do. <laughs> the reason I'm laughing is because one thing about me if I love something, I'll buy it like over and over and over and over again. I do have something similar to this. And when I saw this, I'm like, ah, oh, I love it still. And I bought it. Um, so this is the price. Oh my God. It's beautiful. I like it. Especially for my bathroom, guys. It's black and white, so it makes sense. And this is why we went to Waterfront yesterday at Zara. Let me do it that thumbnail. Got it. I saw this skirt online and when I tried to buy it, it was sold out. I was like, it's fine, I'll go check at the shops and I found it. Oh, I'm gonna put a clip here of the skirt because it's long. But here it is. Here it is. Ah! It's long. It's long. I can't fit it in, which you guys will see from here. And when I got to the till, ne? the price said 850 but the original price is um 1040 bucks and i was like i'm paying the price on the tag chill and they were like yeah it's fine so i bought it for 850. okay guys that's the haul i'm gonna try by i'm gonna start by washing the windows i wanted to mise <laughs> i wanted to mise and ignore the windows let me show you how dirty they are i wanted to mise and ignore them but i'm like Ish, I'm such a clean freak like it's either i clean or i don't clean like there's no in between for me so i'm like let me just do it i don't think you guys can see oh i don't think it shows but they are dirty the windows are dirty nah i don't think guys can see through a camera but the windows are dirty okay guys let me start cleaning and stop talking do you want to know how i improve the quality of my pictures using skillshare stick around i'm about to share with you right now skillshare is an online learning community and it has thousands of classes that you can choose from as a content creator i joined skillshare to improve the quality of my pictures and videos too as that serves as part of my work by improving the quality of my pictures and videos my instagram following grew and now i am sitting at over a hundred thousand followers so i recently attended a class on skillshare presented by amir Miza 
on consistent photo editing style and presets for Instagram in Lightroom CC, Adobe Photoshop CC and mobile. I really enjoyed this class because it only had nine lessons and it was 23 minutes long. Yet it was so detailed that I gained a valuable skill on how to edit with uh, Lightroom and uh, Adobe Photoshop. Really, really enjoyed it. I used this class to edit my last picture that I showed you guys when I started talking about Skillshare on this vlog. I have great news if you want to be part of Skillshare too. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box will get one month a free trial of skills share you can attend any class that you want it doesn't have to be photography it can be finances it can be singing it can be cooking classes skillshare has it all
hey guys so i'm sitting in my little corner editing and having my first meal of the day i'm having rice oxtail creamed spinach and a roji um veggie <laughs> a veggie bake Mm. I'm editing my vlog, the one you just watched now. Okay guys, I feel like there's light here and we can sit here and talk. Like have you ever been so hungry that you when you eat your stomach hurts? So yeah. So I made this. I'll show you guys in my next vlog. I did record it. I made oxtail and dumpling anyway so so guys so i was editing the whole day like i showed you guys the vlog i just showed you now so i haven't been on instagram i haven't been on whatsapp i haven't been anywhere i've just been working the whole day so it's around three and i'm hungry i'm like let me make food and let me check my instagram so i go on my instagram and i check and dms i was like you make the news you make the news i'm like i make the news how and I go on my Instagram and I find this. So we own the citizens on the last video that I made on how much my wedding cost on my YouTube channel. I didn't even know. I wish the person who wrote the article could have least uh, told me she was going to write the article. I wasn't going to say no, but just the decency of letting me know. But oh well, I guess she felt it wasn't important or I didn't matter in the whole thing the content was out there already anyway so um, um my followers um dm me they're like you made the news i'm like what are you guys talking about so they send me like screenshots and i'm like oh my word and like is it the first time you're seeing it i'm like yes i didn't see this i was working the whole day i was filming editing and 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 then you're like but you've been even yesterday you like you were turning on twitter on tiktok i'm like on tiktok I didn't see that either <laughs> like I do have a TikTok account but I log in like once in a week if I have my face done and I like want to do a video and then I log on to TikTok but I'm not like a constant 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 user of TikTok and then I saw the video where this lady um, let me search for it for your white wedding and suppliers used i'm gonna do this from the top of my head so i see this and i'm gonna mention amounts and then we're gonna try and add them up together so let me open my calculator so this is the video i did on my wedding cost last time so i went through the comments to see curiosity so i went to the comments and a lot of people who have been married did say that their weddings were Someone said she also got married a few years back at the shop some gardens and she paid 290,000 rands which is roughly around uh, the same price that my Zara order has been shipped <laughs> and it disappeared which is around the same price that um which is around the same price that I paid at the Shep Stone Garden because um, mine was over 400k and it was like 100,000 in difference but considering Gucci the different years like prices go up every day and most people who also got married people who have been married do say they spend around the same amount someone also said they spent double the amount I spent on my wedding um, but the thing that I wanted to address mostly on the video I don't I don't I'm not gonna reply on TikTok uh, simply because I know these people are not invested it's just a click you click you pass it oh, I forgot about me some of them don't even know my name but I did see the VIP gang 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 on the on TikTok guys thank you so much you guys were responding and you're all being positive and answering people with questions so i wanted to answer two only two on my youtube channel because i know the people who are here are invested and you guys started you were there when i announced the wedding would be getting married you were there through the planning journey you watched the wedding video and um i saw a lot of 
the questions that my VIP gang could not answer so I thought I should come here and answer that and close off this vlog with that mm. Mm. this cream spinach slaps so hard mm. anyway so the most asked questions on on tiktok that i want to answer was the um, makeup artist costing me eight thousand rands i went with bella you guys know that the eight thousand rand did include a call out fee of which i did not mention in my um in my video and i was doing this thing on top of my like on like it was a head count i was not really pinning down and concentrating a bit by bit and i really don't want to give bella a bad name or any negative anything negative towards her i don't want to put that out so my makeup artist did charge me eight thousand rands so in that eight thousand rand there was a two thousand rand call out fee right so it was two thousand rand to call out fee so from that six thousand rand was left and then for two people she basically charged me 3k 3k three thousand three thousand to do my face my face for my wedding day was literally three thousand rand because i did pay a call out fee for her to come to the venue and do my face you pay for that if you've gotten married or if you had an event you are probably understand this so uh bella did a great job bella did a great job on my face i'm happy i am not even complaining guys that makeup stayed on my face it was hot uh we were standing in the sun when, while the pasta was breezy uh i did not sweat one bit like that makeup stayed it was flawless if i had to pay three thousand rents again and three thousand rents again for my mom for us to get that face beat i would pay it not out the only problem that i had with bella like everything else i give her 10 out of 10 the only problem that i had with her is for my trial so the 8k covered the trial it covered the call out fee net 2000 rent so 6000 rent left so the 6000 covered my mom me and my trial so before you get married you do a trial to see how your makeup is going to come out in the day so i go to bella in sentin to her offices i get there for my trial for my wedding trial and then she's supposed to do like my whole face in my understanding i feel like when you're doing a trial you do the whole face like they do your makeup on the whole face and then you see how you're gonna look like on your wedding and i was planning to use that trial for my um engagement photo shoot with sam right so i get there i wake up super early i even get her get there before her she was a little bit late i don't mind that i sit there and i wait for her and when she gets there she just steps she looks at my complexion she's like mm -mm. on your wedding day please make sure that you get um a good night's rest you sleep so that your eyes are not red and please not make sure that no one tweezes your eyebrows i don't tease my eyebrows anyway and um drink enough water and then she takes out um foundations like oh i can see which color is gonna suit you she asks me what what look i want i tell her and then she takes like foundations like oh yeah yeah i can see what i'm gonna use on your face and then that was it i'm like how oh, better you're not gonna do my face and show me the trial that i paid for bella goes like um no i'm not gonna do that don't you know i don't do that i was like now i have a photo shoot with sam it's eight o'clock in the morning i have a photo shoot with sam at two in the afternoon so i thought i was gonna use her services to do my try my engagement photo shoot with sam right okay bella's like i'm rushing off to swaziland i have to go now we are done guys i was there for 10 minutes <laughs> I've already paid Bella a deposit. Bella is leaving. She has a flight to catch to Swaziland. And she left me, guys. She left me there. Um, but she did, uh, to be fair, she did send me to her friend that I did have to pay. So I had to pay an extra amount for e photo shoot that she can go to this person. I can book you. She can do your face. And then you can do your go to your photo shoot. But I mean, I'm not doing a trial. 
my trial is this 10 minute thing that we just had now me looking at you giving you tips on what to do on your wedding day that's it i was expecting up to a full face beat for my trial makeup i don't know if you if you have ever been married let me know in the comment section if you if i'm wrong i don't know i've never been married I've, it's my first time but do let me know if you're doing a trial um when you pay for a trial for a wedding to a made wedding makeup artist do they actually do your face or do they just go like oh i can see that you shade okay okay you can go that's all i got but everything else i would give bella a nine out of ten the, an eight out of ten that thing really disappointed me and it really hurt me but i was so close to my it was like a week before my wedding guys and anything that was negative anything that was hurting me i really did cancel it out and then the second disappointment that i had so i just wanted to clarify that on that whole tiktok video because everyone was asking Gucci, why would you pay eight thousand rands just for a person to do your face it was not completely either i i don't want anything bad that did not really occur to seem like it happened bella charged me 8k for call out fee for me my mom and trial i do feel like she really did cheat me on the trial let me know i may be wrong i stand to be contracted i may be wrong do let me know on the morning of my wedding uh i booked shaitani that was just the biggest 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 so on the wedding of my wedding on the morning of my wedding i booked ushai sani to come and do my face ne? to come and do my hair i even left my uh, wig at his place so he can treat it and bring it along when he's gonna do my thingy i paid in other pay weeks before seven o'clock in the morning i'm driving to um, Oh no no no! I didn't pay because Chaisen was charging me three thousand rent for a credit fee. I felt like, ish, that's too much for me. Let me come to your studio. I'll start with you. You do my hair. I'll wake up super early. You do my uh, hair, and then after that, I'll just go to the venue. So when Bella, because I've already paid Bella a credit fee, so when I, Bella comes, my hair will be done. She'll just start by doing my face when I get to the venue. So. In the morning, I'm driving to Shaisani's place to go to my, um, hey, Shaisani cancelled on me that morning. He said he's double booked and he can't make it. He has a call out fee. He has a call out and he's on his way. Mm -hmm. Seven o'clock in the morning on my wedding day, he cancelled on me. Luckily, um, I called Ulelo. I'm going to link her profile here. I called her. Can you please do my hair? I called her in the morning, guys. Half past nine, ten o'clock in the morning, she was in to come to my hair. So those were the biggest blunders. Like, she suddenly gave me a freeze. Like, whenever you're in Jovek, you can come and do your hair with me for free. I will never. No one has ever hurt me the way that guy did. <laughs> Ask Lelo. I was crying tears because Lelo's like, I can't do this hairstyle because there's no time. I'm squeezing you in because I have a, I have a client to do um, to do her hair. After this, I have to go. So if I do this hairstyle, it's gonna take forever. I cried, legit cried. I live in Yembe, so I'm like, this is I've planned this so much, and I'm not getting the hairstyle that I wanted. I like to my surprise, a little surprise me with the hairstyle that I wanted. Guys, I even I, I don't want to I didn't want to say this on video. I even paid her extra like the following day after my wedding. I sent her extra money just to say thank you so much. Like the, what Lelo. Artistry did for me can never be undone. Like it can never be undone. Like she came through for me. Number one, she was booked in the morning. Number two, she gave me the perfect hairstyle that I wanted that took so long and she was late to her next appointment just to accommodate me and make me a happy bride. Like guys, a lot happened and some things I forget because like I'm not gonna box so good. Um yeah, this person did to me. Like I don't but when people ask questions, I remember good oh kinda this happened, ne? So yeah, I just wanted to tell you the whole makeup thing. I did not pay eight thousand rands for makeup and mainly because I don't want to give Opela a bad name. Honestly, she did. Guys, even with that whole trial mistake thingy, 
I, I, I am calling her out on that she was wrong I feel she was wrong she was wrong and if I'm wrong Nami you guys can call me out with cook you wrong for her to expect you to do her face and maybe I'm also wrong for not asking yeah, well, Gucci, what does a trial entail I assumed Gucci she's gonna do a full try I assumed I think Nami you're wrong on that part but her work impeccable like if i had to book her again if i had to get married again and they say book someone i'd book bella again she's good i know i'm not even hating i don't want to lie with the whole trial thing i'd still recommend her uh but i feel like she should change i feel like it's unfair but i stand to be corrected guys so yeah guys um i'm done with this vlog i just wanted to come here and let you guys just clarify the whole thing on me paying eight thousand rands for makeup and i feel like Kupela was really reasonable and because i did get higher quotations the highest i got was 10k for my face so yeah guys um if you enjoyed this video and if you watched it to the end thank you so much um please make sure that you're subscribed if you enjoyed it um if you knew i hope you're coming back for another one uh, thank you so much for la for watching i love you guys so much i'm so sorry that i was crusty and i'm a kiva and <laughs> i'm a duku throughout the whole vlog um but yeah i'm in the process of just fixing my home cleaning and just putting things together because i was gone for a long time in january and february i was basically just sleeping and resting so now i'm just getting back into the feel of things so and i'm taking you guys on the journey because most of the time i'm home cleaning working creating content and yeah okay guys i'll see you guys on my next one i love you so much take care and goodbye bye my food is cold because i talk too much mm. let me calm this i hate cold food be healthy with a substance that is pure and i said darling darling feeling rich although i'm poor i said darling darling in your arms i feel secure darling Ooh, 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 yeah, girl